yeah. <laughs> That's right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Gymshark finally freaking came out with camo shorts. Oh boy, the gods must have heard our prayers, girl. Ooh. So not only is Gymshark coming out with freaking camo shorts, my favorite collection, mind you, just wanna throw that out there in case you don't know, but they're also coming out with really beautiful colors. So in today's video, I have a haul for you guys showcasing the new colors, and I'm gonna be actually taking you through like the differences, because there are a couple differences, okay? And the shorts, we got a lot to talk about with these freaking shorts, dude. All right, we've waited long enough, so let's get into this video, but you already know the drill. If you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button, follow me on IG and TikTok for all things fitness, because together we got this. Now let's go talk about that freaking spicy red. Guys, if you are new to this channel, definitely check out my Gymshark playlist. I'll have it linked up here. I've been doing Gymshark reviews for like the better part of two years or so, so I pretty much reviewed like everything. <laughs> so check it out. And while we at it, definitely peep the description box because that is where I'll have my measurements for you to reference. I'll also have everything linked once it does go live, which by the way, no release date yet, don't hate me. I'm sorry, no release date yet, but definitely follow my stories on Instagram because that's when I'll be announcing when we are able to announce. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with the freaking shorts, obviously. Ooh, lo and behold, the long-awaited camo shorts I've been waiting for you, girl. The very first moment I ever put camo leggings on my body, I instantly said that these better be shorts one day. Oh, and P.S., thank you so much to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. So there are four colors that are gonna be in this new launch. We got, I'm wearing it right now, this beautiful, baby pink oh the baby pink is so pretty we also have their signature black they actually launched their last camel launch in this black this did not change it's the same exact print same shades everything and last but not least we got a green it's different than the obsidian green i actually have the obsidian green i actually brought both just so you could see this was the old like obsidian green from last fall this is the new green so it's a little more faded so these shorts, there's quite a few things I wanna mention about these shorts off the bat. Well, first of all, you're probably wondering where's the freaking red? <laughs> and as far as I know, there won't be red shorts, but with Gymshark, sometimes they're spontaneous <laughs> and surprise you, so I don't know for 100% sure. But as far as what I know, these are the three colors that the shorts are gonna be coming in. So they're the same exact material as the rest of the camo collection, the newer launched camo. So we got polyamide, polyester, and elastane. My freaking favorite of all materials from Gymshark. It hugs the curves, it's flattering, it's soft, it's just a moderate, nice compression. It's perfect. So here's where it gets a little different than maybe what you were expecting with camo shorts. Unlike the leggings where you have that I don't even know, two to three inch butt scrunch. These shorts, surprisingly enough, don't have that. So uh, you can imagine how sh 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 shitty shocked I was. I was like, where the frick's my butt scrunch? However, they do have the raised seamed contour. And how they mixed it up was they actually added the little cinchers, I wanna call them, little butt scrunchers on the sides of the shorts to give that little like, baby cinch on the sides. I do think it's flattering. I do find it to be a nice touch, but I'm not gonna lie, there was like that little part of me when I first looked at it, I went, <laughs> where's my freaking butt scratch? Nevertheless, after wearing it around, working out in them, they still make the peach look freaking perfect. That didn't change none. Overall, it's got a really nice fit. They do not roll up, they don't snap up, they don't do no weird shiz like that that we all hate. But I do wanna mention, because I've been already getting a lot of questions via Instagram, about the restriction around the thighs. I have naturally like bigger thighs. That's where I carry a lot of my weight, I guess you can say. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it does do that on me. It's got a little more of that cinched action um, towards the bottom of the shorts. They do not hurt, it's not uncomfortable, and it doesn't leave like marks on my legs or anything like that. It's a very, very comfortable fit, but I do wanna make mention of that in case you were curious. But at the same time, these are designed for use at a gym, so. It's a little more compressive in those areas. I can see why. It's definitely not enough um, to make me like insecure and not wanna work out with them at the gym. You best believe 
I'm gonna be rocking these freaking camo shorts at the gym. For me, everything seems to be pretty squat proof, minus the baby pink. That one was about 90% on me, but that is just me. That's just how, you know, it appears on my boot time. So straight up, girl, if you are in between sizes and you wanna check out the shorts, I would probably personally suggest sizing up if you're just trying to avoid the little cinching around the quads. If not, then totally true to size. These are my true size small and I wouldn't size up and I wouldn't size down. Just in time for spring. Mm. Rocking, got me feeling it. So we got some leggings as well, baby. I'm wearing the baby pink. We also got the green and the red. We got Christmas up in here. Let me touch base real quick on the color of these red leggings. So I'm getting questions on Instagram. Is it more of a pinky red or a red red? But here's where it gets a little twisted. <laughs> So the solid part of the camo, the more saturated red, is definitely a red red in my opinion. But the other part, that scratchy, lighter, faded print within the legging, I would say is more of a pinky red. So you have a nice mixture. If you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I actually matched these leggings with the pink right here, the one I'm wearing, and it actually flows because you have elements of that faded pink throughout. So nothing has changed with the leggings in case you're wondering it's the same freaking thing as the last launch they kept the scrunch but on the scrunch but <laughs> same like length material you name it bands are the same so nothing has changed here who's up for a onesie i'm here for it don't think i'm not i'm all for like that onesie action i think it's freaking different so gymshark came out with an actual one piece camo thank the lord it's the new camo shorts mixed with the new camo bra which we'll be getting into in a second into just one big piece but if you're in between sizes totally size up in this because it does have more of a little tighter fit so if you want a little more room this definitely is a form-fitted piece I don't know, man. What do you think of the onesie? I feel like it's totally a hit or miss piece. Either people are like fascinated and need it, or people are repulsed and say, what the frig am I gonna do with that? <laughs> For me, I find it to be a little more useful to wear underneath like loose fit shorts. You know what I mean? Like just a one piece wearing out and about. Get some loose fitted on, or even joggers, man. Wear a pair of loose fit joggers, holy hell. I believe this is just coming in the green and the black. I believe that's what it's coming in. No red. Dang. Okay, so have you guys noticed the difference in the sports bras? We got two now to choose from. Oh, snap! So we got the traditional sports bra, the one I'm wearing, the crisscross, patty whack, give the dog a bone one that you already know about. We actually got uh, more of a coverage, almost slightly higher support sports bra in the camo collection. It is a full-on racer bag with the little booty scrunch slash cinch, I'm just gonna call it. <laughs> Not only in the front, but the back as well of the sports bra. You can see it on both sides. They went above and beyond with that. They say, you know what? One's not good enough, two is where it's at. And they look pretty flattering. I know I'm gonna get questions. Well, Ash, which one do you prefer? Girl, which one do you think I prefer? I mean, look at what I'm working with here. I mean, some booby action because I don't have that every day. So when I got a Gymshark sports bra that gives me a boob job, then yeah, I'm gonna keep with that one. Nevertheless, on certain days, yeah, I'm gonna wear this one. If I'm really getting at it in the gym, I need to be a little more stability. I don't really want things kind of like popping out in people's faces, then yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. They still have removable bra pads, just like the other ones, nothing different at all. It's just minor changes, like you don't have the highway action, that intricate design on the back like the old bra. This one's just more of a straightforward racer back. For those who just want more of a simple design, a more straightforward simplicity to their sports bras, this one's for you, you might like it. Okay guys, so last but not least, I do have a few of their long sleeves. I actually really do love their long sleeves. I used to hate them, FYI. Their old material that they had a couple of years ago, I found it to be a little constricting and awkward and I never wore them. <laughs> but their newer material that they came out with within the past like year with the polyamide has been so freaking amazing and luxurious that now trying on their long sleeves, they're beautiful and they fit so nicely. I just, I love them so much. So I have them in the color pink. I have them in the freaking spicy fire flame red and the green as well. Nothing 
new here with the long sleeves. You still have the cinch in the titty part and you do have that like keyhole design on the back. It's almost like a, what is it, like an oval? <laughs> like a teardrop, okay? So pretty much the same deal. Still got that ultimate stretch feel. Definitely wicking. These sets in general are very wicking. All right guys, so what are our thoughts on the new camo? Those new shorts are pretty freaking wicked. They definitely caught me by surprise when I first got them in. Not exactly what I thought they'd be, but you know what? It's all good. All that really matters in the end is, is it functional and does it make the peach look good? Again, a huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Definitely let a gal know if you have any questions at all and I will try my best to answer them for you. So as you can see, it's still the same camo that we love and adore from the past few launches. Just uh, some new additions, just a growing family is all with major, major differences. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you aren't already because we got ombre next, okay? New Gymshark ombre, we got new pause pieces. <sighs> We're having fun here. The list goes on and on. It don't end with Gymshark. Love you all so much, and I will catch you in my next video.